Let's look at how we can calculate standard deviations in Excel. In this example, we've got some data on how much students like Justin Bieber on a scale from one through five, where one means they detest him and five means they adore him. And we saw from a previous example, the mean was 2.52. Now we're going to look at the standard deviation. Remember, the standard deviation is a measure of how close scores are or how far apart scores are. And the bigger the standard deviation, that means the farther apart the scores are. So let's, uh, let's label this. Let's call it a standard, DV, standard deviation there. And we're going to go into a, a cell where we want them. And we're going to use an Excel command, S T D E V. Now there's a number of S T D D V uh, um, commands. The we can just use S T uh, D E V plain, or we can use them with the dot S. They're the same things. It means that we're going to start with a sample and we're going to guess what the standard deviation for the population is. Is what you and that's what you normally do in statistics. There's also the dot uh, P version of standard deviation, and that's if you already have the whole population's data, but that's generally not the case. So we'll just use STDEV, and then we put parentheses, and we put the starting number, so we're going to start with uh, C3, and then we're going to go to, oh, let's do two periods, and go to C27. C27 is the last number in our series, and we got a box around it, and we put close parentheses. So we've got the equals standard deviation of C3 through C27, and we press enter, and we get a standard deviation of 1.41774. Now that's an ugly number. Let's round that. So I highlight that cell. I go up to the number section, and I go to general and I change it to number and that rounds it to 1.42. Now what, is, what does that mean? That means that most of the scores are between 1 point or are within 1.42 points of the average, 2.52. So roughly speaking, that means most of the scores are between two and four, which makes sense. And then almost all the scores are within two standard deviations. So that would be about 2.8. So that means almost all the scores are within uh, two and four and a half, or zero and four and a half, which certainly is the case since it's just a zero to five uh, schedule. So that's how we do standard deviation on Excel 